Hey YouTubers, back again. Hope all your families and friends are safe and well and all having a good day. Uh, we've just been shopping today. We've gone to Iceland today. We've got a, a sweet and sour with rice. Um, let's go down to the worktop, open up the box and see what's in the box. So we've got the Iceland sweet and sour rice. The net weight of the packet is 450 grams. What else is on the box? The recyclable content is the box, the tray and the film. Uh, sorry, not the film. That's the only thing that's not. And uh, what else we've got? We've got the ingredients. So we've got sweet and sour sauce, 46%. Uh, does it give a chicken content? Oh yeah, cooked chicken. 12% and cooked rice 42% we've got the allergens in the black bold which are soya wheat and barley we've got the nutritional information there so per microwave meal we've got 497 calories 3.1 grams of fat 92.5 grams of carbohydrates 2.9 grams of fiber 23.3 grams of protein and 1.3 grams of salt we've got a brief description of the product sweet and sour chicken with rice cooked in cooked chicken breast strips uh, and vegetables in a sweet and sour sauce and cooked rice yeah. cooking instructions now we've got microwave cat e 800 watt full power for 11 minutes Remove out of packaging, pierce the film live, lid several times, place on a microwave plate, cook for seven minutes, add three tablespoons of water onto the rice, stir the sauce, replace film lid, cook for a further four minutes and then stand for one minute before serving. Uh, oven cook is Fan 180 for 40 minutes or Gas Mark 6 for 45 minutes and the same applies about three quarter way through the cooking process. Do the stir, add the water, etc. etc. Um, not now, I else on the box. I'm just going to take it out of the box. So, as you can see it now, what's that? One, two, three, probably at face value, probably about five or six bits of chicken looking at it. So, anyway, let's uh, go and put this in the microwave and I'll be back with you shortly. Right, so the Iceland sweet and sour chicken with rice has just come out of the microwave. Well done, Iceland. Iceland, you've done better than Asda's for a piece of film that actually peels off. <laughs> Sorry, I have to keep going on about that, but it winds me up if it doesn't. Right, so as you can see, we've got, I don't know, probably about five to six large bits of chicken. I can see some red peppers, see some carrots, and I can see, I think that's little chunks, chunks of pineapple as well. It's very little bits, but there is some in there. So let's dish this up on the plate. Just get the rice out. Give the rice a work in, does this all well. On together right so I'm gonna go up to the camera and uh, we're gonna go and give it a taste test so let's give this um, Iceland sweet and sour chicken a taste I'm just going for a little bit of sauce first right tell you what Going on the sauce, this is one of the best sweet and sours I've tasted. You've got the sweetness now, you've got the sharpness of the vinegar, and it's blended just right. It's not takeaway standard, but some of these sweet and sours, what you buy, are just either super sweet or completely sour. They don't, there's no like middle ground. But so far, bear in mind this is a pan of milk. So I'm going to get a bit of chicken.
Yeah, the chicken's good as well. Excuse me. Tell you what else I've just noticed in it, it's got some water chestnuts in it. So it gives a little crunch to it. It's different, but it's okay. Um, the rice, the rice is cooked nicely. The um, grains are not mashed up to pieces like some rices can be. Could do with a little bit of salt, the rice. Let's uh, go, try and get full, full uh, spoonful and give it a right go. Get a bit of red pepper as well. Yeah, for a pound, that is so surprising. Um, that's really shocked me to be honest. I've had loads of sweet potatoes from the Tesco's and the Asda's, their luxury ranges, and the sweet and sour sauce has not been as good as that. They're, like I've said before, they just, these supermarkets can't seem to get it right. It's either one end of the spectrum or completely the other end of the spectrum. Um, I don't know why, I don't see why they just don't go to a local takeaway and say, how do you make your sweet and sour sauce? Uh, can we produce it in bulk and uh, dish it with these ready meals? I don't, I don't understand it. I know sweet and sour sauce over the country can vary slightly, but you know, most takeaways are very similar with their sweet and sour sauces. Um, what else can I say about it? portion size? You know, that's not a bad portion size to me. Um, could it be improved? The only thing I would say is a bit of salt in the rice, but you can only salt yourself. You can't take away salt. So, ratings out of 10. I'd give that a 9 out of 10. For the reasons I've just stated. Price, flavour, the amount there. Um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's one of the better if not the best sweet and sour chicken I've had from a ready meal. Admittedly, I've not tried them all. I've tried them a few over the years and that. Um, definitely buy it again. This will be on my shopping list when I go to Iceland. It's a quick, easy snack when you can't be bothered to cook. You know, chuck it in the microwave and off you go. Oh uh, yes, I'd give that an all round thumbs up on that product. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. Like I say, I'm new to YouTube. I'm not a professional reviewer, as you can tell. Uh, I try to do my best. Um, I'd just appreciate it if you can um, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. It will notify you every time we've got a video coming out. Hopefully over time, I'll um, try and up the quality of the videos. But for, now, for the meantime, I'm winging it. So I um, uh, hope you have a lovely day. Take care and bye-bye.